Thank you, colleagues. The question is that Amendment 13196.3 in the name of Jenny Gilruth, which seeks to amend Motion 13196 in the name of Pam Duncan Glancy on Stand Up for Teaching, be agreed. And members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 13196.3 in the name of Jenny Gilruth is yes, 62, no, 62. The vote is tied and as is usual when the Parliament has not been able to reach a decision, I am obliged to exercise a casting vote. I will not make the decision for the Parliament and the established convention is to vote in favour of the status quo because the Chair is required to act impartially. Therefore, I cast my vote against the amendment. The amendment is therefore not agreed to. The next question is that Amendment 13196.2 in the name of Liam Kerr, which seeks to amend Motion 13196 in the name of Pam Duncan Glancy on Stand Up for Teaching, be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. Call Siobhan Brown for a point of order. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Sorry, my app wasn't working and I would have voted no. Thank you, Ms Brown. We'll ensure your vote's recorded. Point of order, Keith Brown. Presiding Officer, but I would have voted yes. No, no sorry, I would have voted no. <laughs> I'll give him some hope. Don't tell him it was a no-go, you just tell him it was recorded. I can confirm, Mr Brown, that your vote was recorded. Thank you.
The result of the vote on amendment number 13196.2 in the name of Liam Kerr is yes 29, no 95. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 13196 in the name of Pam Duncan Glancy on stand up for teaching be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. I call Neil Bibby for a point of order. I would have voted yes, President Officer. Thank you, Mr Bibby. We'll ensure your vote's recorded. The result of the vote on motion 13196 in the name of Pam Duncan Glancy is yes 62, no 61. There was one abstention. The motion is therefore agreed. The next question is that amendment 13197.3 in the name of Paul McLennan, which seeks to amend motion 13197 in the name of Mark Griffin, on Scotland's housing emergency be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 13197.3 in the name of Paul McLennan is yes 69, no 33. There were 22 abstentions. The amendment is therefore agreed. The next question is that amendment 13197.2 in the name of Miles Briggs, which seeks to amend motion 13197 in the name of Mark Griffin on Scotland's housing emergency, be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now.
The vote is closed. I call Siobhan Brown for a point of order. Apologies, Presiding Officer, but I would have voted no if my app wasn't working. Thank you, Ms Brown. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on amendment number 13197.2 in the name of Miles Briggs is yes 62, no 61. There was one abstention. The amendment is therefore agreed. The next question is that motion 13197.1 in the name of Mark Griffin as amended on Scotland's housing emergency be agreed. Are we all agreed? Thank you. I'd be grateful if members could raise their voices. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on motion 13197 in the name of Mark Griffin as amended is yes 95, no 29. There were no abstentions. The motion as amended is therefore agreed. And the final question is that motion 13220 in the name of Jamie Hepburn on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau on committee meeting times be agreed. Are we all agreed? The motion is therefore agreed. That concludes decision time and we'll now move on to members' business in the name of Claire Adamson.